Hello, I'm back, and this time we're looking at two figures that are so god-awfully tiny they barely fit in frame. Yes, we're lumping together Torin Far and Princess Leia because they use extremely similar sculpts. Torin Far, of course, from the Black Series, and Leia from the Vintage Collection. Which figure is better? That's for you to- it's Leia. Leia is a much better figure. And let's get on to the reasons why after we look at the shitty packaging. Picture. Yes. Star Wars. Yes. Faded picture. The, we get it. Stop hitting the falc- uh, whatever. Let's look at the accessories for both figures first. They came with very similar accessories. Uh, I believe Leia only came with one, and it was a blaster. Where's the blaster? Oh my god, D don't tell me I lost it. I swear to Christ in heaven if I lost that damn thing. Well, great. It appears that I have- oh, no, I found it, I found it. Leia comes with a blaster. This may or may not be the one she came with, but it's something of this variety. This unfocused variety. There we go. Torin, incidentally, um, comes with the same one, except the black. It's painted black all the way. There's no nice silver detailing. And Far also comes with a nice pair of Beats by Dre. So she can jam out to the Imperial March like we all do. No, I'm kidding. They're her headphones for finding out um, Imperials have entered the base or not. And they do fit nicely over her head like that. But let's look at Torin first since we have her in hand. Um, they're, oh jeez, she's so tiny. The only differences between her and Leia are these. The coat is different. This is different. This part of the arm. Hands are different. That's it. Oh, and the head, obviously. But, that is it. The rest of the figure is absolutely identical. Um, which is probably for the worst. Let's get on to that reason right now. Actually, let's not. Let's dilly-dally around it and talk about the head sculpt. It's not great, and here's why. In the movie, if any of us know, she has a massive bun. This bun is not nearly massive enough. I know that sounds strange, but it's technically inaccurate, and I have to point it out. Um, very plain looking. Paint's okay, I guess. That's a plus. Um, but, she, but her whole outfit's just a little too tan. Notice how, like, the boots, they're all the same color. That's just kind of awful. Notice how on Leia, they're all, like, they got a much different coloring and three actual colors in there. Instead of just the one, which is very unfortunate. So, she's just very plain. And there's no real detailing or weathering, and it's kind of awful. But I did want this figure, because I do like background rebels to crush under the foot of my massive at, -AT. But she's okay. Let's talk about articulation now. Ball-jointed head, and this applies for both figures. Ball-jointed head, ball hinge shoulders and elbows, swivel wrists, swivel waist, swivel hips, ball hinge knees, and ball No. There's absolutely, and I can't tell you why Hasbro did this. No articulation in either of their ankles. Yup. It's completely stiff. Um, I don't know why they decided to do that. It's extremely unfortunate. It does hinder the figure's ability to stand. It does hinder the figure's ability to do anything. And I hate it, hate it, hate it. Ugh. But enough complaining about her. On to Leia. The beauty of the galaxy. Yes, indeed. Princess Leia Organo in her half... Organo, Organa, in her Hoth outfit. Very nicely done. Has a nice rank badge there with some silver detailing. Um, got the red lipstick. Not sure if that's accurate or not, but I do like it. Um, her face is very pale, but again, looks right to the movie. Dark hair. You know, they got the bun right and everything on her. Um, same articulation. Hands are different with a gloved hand there. And of course, the little wrist gauntlet communicator badge thingy on her wrist as well is not on Torin. Um, as I noted, no articulation, but her boot detail is much nicer, so I'll let her off. And, you know, there's a lot of dirt marks on her, which is very nice. And it's a shame that's not on Torin. She's also a much whiter figure overall. Let's compare her to the very tan Torin Far. Let me get my shadow out of the way. So, you know, I prefer this figure. It's much better. I'll try to splice in her packaging now. Again, gonna look real dumb if that doesn't work. Um, but it's def they're both definitely worth a purchase. Get this one. If you have to choose between two, if there's a gun to your head and it's Torin Far or Leia Hoth outfit, get Leia Hoth outfit. But if you can get both, buy both. They both look good in the background with you know your General Riken and your Han Solo. And they one looks good in the Falcon, one does not for obvious reasons. So that's about it for these two. Very good figures. Not the best. Definitely not the worst from either of their collection. So go out, try to find them. Um, next, we'll be looking at more Imperials, because I'm sick of these godforsaken rebels on my godforsaken shelf. 
I've already sworn in these videos. Why didn't I just say it? Whatever. See you guys later. Bye.